Okay, so I just wanted to hop on and make a quick video about what I wear, what I consider to be a minimalist wardrobe. And to me, it's minimalist in the sense, that basically I wear the same thing every day. And because of that, it has just taken all the stress of having to choose my outfits or choose what I'm wearing or knowing you know, whether or not I'm gonna feel comfortable in something all day. Basically, I found something that makes me feel comfortable and fine every day. Like, it's not glamorous, so it's not something that I feel like, oh my God, I'm gonna get some looks or anything, but I don't, I'm not going after like getting looks. Um, I just basically just wanna be comfortable and feel good. So um, this has kind of evolved over several years. Um, it really started a few years ago just with my underwear and what had happened was I noticed that you know I didn't have just one type of underwear like my underwear drawer if I don't know if most people like have just like a drawer that you just throw all of your underwear in and it was like I'd had underwear that I just from random places all random types I had thongs I had briefs I had boy shorts, you know, I just had all these different types of underwear in a drawer. And then I started noticing there was like one specific type that I was just wearing every single day. And I would wear them, you know, and then whenever they were all dirty, I would be like, oh man, I need to do laundry because all of these type of underwear are dirty. They were just the ones that I was most comfortable in. And so eventually I was like, well, why do I even have all of these other pairs in my drawer when I know that I'm not comfortable wearing the other pairs and I know that I like that pair. And so I think I tried a few different, like I'd realized the style that I was comfortable in and I've just given up on thongs and everything. I used to be really like self-conscious that my panty lines are showing. And then I just realized like nobody really cares if your panty lines are showing and if they do care, then that's stupid <laughs> because I don't care if somebody sees my panty lines. So I just got rid of, I just like threw that out of my head. Like if I have panty lines, I really, I don't care anymore. And so the underwear that I settled on were kind of some boy short briefs, definite like granny panties, but they're comfortable. And I just wear the same ones no matter what, like if I'm, I don't wear white pants, but I feel like even if I was wearing white pants, I would still wear these with it, even if they showed through, because if they showed through, it's not like I'm wearing a thong, so not a big deal. So I went with black, and you know, it doesn't show stains, they'll fade a little bit, but whatever. I just literally have like 20 pair of, I don't know how many, but I've got more than a week's worth, so I've got like, I don't know, about 20 pair of these um, that I just cycle through and wear every day. I'm not fully set on my bras, but I've gotten to pretty much where I wear the same bras every day. So I got these bras a long time ago. I have like several of them, like four or five of them. And it's just kind of like a soft material, kind of like a racer back. Um, and I don't really mind if this bra is like showing. So if I have like an off the shoulder shoulder or like backless, um, I have one, another version of this. This is from Truly Co, I think, um, that's styled a little bit different than this, but it's just this really soft, comfortable material. Um, it did have pads in it at one point, but they've come out and I don't wanna mess with like putting them back in after the wash. So I just haven't been wearing the pads. And when I go to the gym, I actually have like a sports bra and it's just a very basic, basic, basic sports bra um, that I just wear every day at the gym. And I'm pretty sure I actually got these off of Wish. There was like a time that I was ordering some things off Wish and I think I just ordered a whole bunch of them. Um, so I have like, I think I have like five or six of these. Um, that I just wear every day. And again, it doesn't, I think they did have some liners and I just ended up taking them out and I just wear this as my top. So that's one thing I would recommend is getting like your underwear and everything figured out first. Cause that's just one less decision that you need to make in the morning whenever you're getting ready or at night when you're picking out your clothes. Oh, another thing I have is socks. 
and I have these from Pact, and my underwear is from Pact as well. Um, and they sell these in different colors, but I've just gotten all black because honestly, sometimes I'll walk outside in my socks, and if you've got white, then they get dirty. And I know you can bleach them, but um, if you've got black, you just can't even see any stains from anything. So uh, yeah, I've got like tons of these socks. I think I've got like 20 pair of these as well. Um, and again, I just wash them and just cycle through them. And these are the only ones I wear. I don't, I've just got out of my mind. Like I used to have different colors of socks. I used to have white, I used to have black, I used to have gray. I would have ones with patterns and I was just like, why? Why don't I just have one type of sock? And that way I don't, there's no choice, literally no choice. And so I just wear these black socks every day if I wear sneakers. The only time that I would need to think about other socks is if I'm wearing like some boots or something where these, you know, wouldn't really work. Um, and so in that case, I've got like a bin that just has a collection of taller socks. Um, but yeah, for the most part, since I have my outfit that I wear every day, I just wear these. Um, and I want to show you something that, that, that helps with that as well, um, whenever I do laundry. So I'm going to show you, I think for now, I'm going to show you my outfit that I wear and kind of how I alter it. Um, and then I'm going to show you, I just did laundry. And so I'm going to show you like why doing this makes laundry so much easier. So it just, it helps every, like it helps with when I do laundry. It helps every day when I pick out my clothes. Like I just, I love just having the same outfit that I wear every day. But yeah, let me show you what it is real quick. Okay. So here is basically what I've been wearing every day for the last two months. And I've been wearing like a variation of this for the most part, almost every day for probably the last year or two. So basically it's just a white t-shirt and some black leggings. I don't care if leggings aren't popular anymore. Um, they're comfortable to me. Uh, you know, I can gain and lose weight within a range and still fit into these leggings. So, you know, they're kind of good if I kind of shift my weight a little bit. Um, but yeah, so my leggings that I have are all from Bombshell. They're a few different um, styles, but I know that I'm comfortable in all of them. And um, so I just kind of like go through, I have like 10 pair of leggings that I'll go through. And so right now my leggings are when I run out is when I have to do laundry. I try to do laundry once a week. Um, so yeah, I just, I have those black leggings. They're expensive, but I found these versus some other black leggings that I've tried. Uh, these last a long time, like they hold up really well. I don't dry them, I hang dry them, um, which makes it easy because I'll take them out of the washer, I'll hang them up to dry, and then I just hang them in my closet. So I'll show you here in a little bit, like how I've kind of organized that because I really, I just want to share this because I really love this system and if anyone can take like parts of it and build their own system, like it's just, it's really made my life so much easier. So, um, but yeah, so there's the black leggings and they're just your standard leggings and they actually come down all the way, but to make them kind of more versatile, I usually keep them rolled up just a little bit. Um, but if you want to make them into capris, you know, you could roll them up a little bit more. So you can do a little bit of variation with these. And then the t-shirt, basically, I was just getting hand-me-downs. My roommate goes through, like he buys packs of just t-shirts at Walmart. So he was getting like the Hanes and the Fruit of the Loom. And he works out a lot, so he goes up and down in sizes. So when he gets like too big or too small for, one of, for some of his shirts, he will usually just give them to me and I can wear like a men's medium, men's large. And so basically that's what I've had, but these are my favorite. So I think I'm just going to stick with these. They come from like the t-shirt wall at Walmart. And I don't know, I like that it has the pocket on it. So, um, yeah, for like the past two months I've been wearing just these and I have some of his old mediums and larges. So that's the size I've been wearing. So just get one that fits you 
And with white and black, you can basically, so this is just kind of my base with the black underwear, the black socks, and the black bra. And then if I want to mix and match it for different seasons, um, I have some black loose tank tops that I will wear occasionally in the summer, but normally I just stick with this. And then when it gets colder, I have like jackets that I put on and most of my jackets are gray, black, or white. So I can, um, you know, kind of pick a different jacket depending on the day. Mostly I will wear this fleece. So when it gets cold, I'll just wear this out, usually just to wherever I'm going and then every place has heating and air so you can take this off or whatever or I've got some sweaters that I'll wear over this and yeah no matter what color the sweater is I normally have this down a little bit the sweater will come here and so I like how it has like the little difference you've got the white differentiate differentiating between the sweater and the pants um I've got a longer like kind of nicer jacket so if I did have like a work event or like a zoom call I could wear these leggings with different shoes and like that longer kind of like shawl sort of thing I don't know exactly what it is but I've got some fancier jackets that I can wear to kind of dress it up a little bit um and so yeah you can just dress up like jackets or layer it or use different shoes so that is one thing that I've always kind of been a hoarder about is shoes and so I still have quite a few shoes, but they're all kind of like neutral tones. So they really match with anything that I wear here. And it's just different types of shoes that are all in like a black, white, or gray color. So um, I can show you my shoes here real quick. But yeah, basically it's just this black and white base. And then I have a few mostly gray sweaters. I'll show you the sweaters in my closet too real quick. Okay, so shoes, my daily shoes, since I get up early and go to the gym every day, I have some sneakers that I'll wear. So here's one pair. I actually wear these pretty much every day. Um, there's some Nikes and they've lasted me for a long time. So the one thing I would say is try to get some shoes that are gonna last. And then on the days I feel like I just wanna mix it up. I've got a second pair of sneakers. There's some New Balance, pretty comfortable. Again, we'll just match with everything. And then let me just go through. So these are pretty much what I'll wear every day. And then I may take these off um, whenever I get home. And normally I'm just barefoot all day at home since I'm working from home. Um, and I'll put these back on if I'm going out to the store or something. Um, but then I've also got like some uh, flip flops and slides. So I'll just show you some of the other varieties of shoes that I may wear on random days. Okay, so these aren't as comfortable as my other sneakers, so I wouldn't wear them to the gym. Um, unless when I start going to the gym more and I wanted to do squats and I needed something with a flat base, um, I may wear these to the gym. But these are just kind of like if I'm going out for a short amount of time. Um, and then these are definitely not comfortable, but they're so cute. <laughs> and they're black and white, and so... I've held on to these even though I don't wear them very often. And then these are just kind of like to wear around the house, to wear outside. They're just some clogs, um, you know, wear out to the store or whatever. Um, and then same thing, I've got a flip flop, which I think is something pretty standard most people have in their shoe collection. Okay, and then another pair that I just wear around the house. These are just some slides. And then for if I'm ever like going to the beach or like to a river or something like that where I need to get my feet in the water, I've just got some of these, you know, basic sandals. I've got a pair of Earth Runners too that I probably wear more than these, but I don't know where they're at. So um, I think I may do a whole video on Earth, Earth Runners actually because I, I really, really like those shoes. Um, but yeah, I've got one more set to show you. Okay, and this is one of my kind of like blazers I was talking about. I've got another one that I like a little bit better, but you know, if I wanted to get dressed up without being too dressy, you know, I can just throw this on with my outfit and then have some different shoes. So these, I haven't actually worn these out yet, but I think they're gonna be my favorite new shoes. They're actually Crocs. <laughs> 
and they're super comfortable and yeah they kind of make the make the outfit look a little dressier and if I'm wearing yeah like a dress or something um they go pretty well with that the few dresses that I still have so um I've got one more I don't have both the shoes but so like if it's raining or snowy or muddy I've also got a pair of these Sperry's but basically all the shoes are black white gray pretty neutral colors and then you know I've got some black tops blazers to wear with this if I need to get dressed up um so yeah it's pretty easy and let me oh one other thing um that you can do to accessorize this so it's not so repetitive okay so one thing that I've started doing recently that I've just never felt comfortable doing and I don't know why I've never done this is wearing hats so I've got some black hats and some white hats so you know on a day I just want to look a little bit different um I'll just wear it's just a plain no logo or anything like white baseball cap um and it helps I used to sh like I don't know if I want to talk about this, but like I used to feel like I had to shower every day or like right before I went out because my hair gets a little bit oily after a couple of days of not washing it. And with this, I can get through like two or three days of not showering just by putting the cap on. You can wear it forward. You can wear it backwards. Sometimes I do braids. So it just, you know, even though you're wearing the same thing, this gives it a little bit of a different look. I've also got a black hat. So, you know, even a little bit different with that. And then in the winter time, I've got a bunch of beanies that I will wear. So again, you could throw on like a sweater or a jacket and then like just a beanie. And I've got, again, some black ones and some white ones and some off-white ones just to give some different looks. So yeah, even though you're wearing the same thing, you don't have as much to choose from. You don't have all these colors to choose from. And maybe you might think it's boring, but it has like made lots of, it just, it seems like it's made my life so much easier. So I will show you how it's made my laundry easier too. Okay, so basically I, since I only wear black, white, or gray, it makes it really easy to separate my laundry into, typically I only have to do two loads. So I've got one load with the dark colors, um, and then I've got one load with the white colors, and then I also have white towels, so I throw my white towels in to fill the load with the whites and then you know any blankets or anything else that I need to wash that are colored I throw it in with the color so it just leaves me with two loads um and then another thing that I've done is I've <laughs> made my house to where it's not like the perfect like looking organized house but it's organized in a way that like everything makes sense to me that I'll be more likely to keep up with routines so there's two places that I typically take off my clothes. So one of them is in my bedroom and one of them is in the bathroom. And so I have laundry baskets in my bedroom and my bathroom. So I don't have to like go anywhere to put my laundry away and it doesn't end up on the floor. It's just easy to get those in the baskets. So when it's time to do laundry, I will just grab the clothes out of each of those baskets, sort them and then do the laundry. Okay, so excuse how this looks. Uh, I'm currently living in a house I inherited from my grandmother and I'm working on renovating. So like half the house still has the like, like wood panel walls and everything. And then half the house is kind of remodeled. But anyway, this is the laundry room. Um, and so basically I've got this thing that you could buy. I think it was like an as seen on TV thing um, to hang stuff on you're supposed to hang them on there but what I did was I had an extra shower rod and so I just put it came with a pack of two so I just put those up and put the shower rod through to make like a place to hang my clothes um because I don't want my leggings to shrink because I like how they fit I do hang dry them and then I will just once they're dry um I will just move these into my closet um same thing with my bras I don't think it matters if I hang dry them or not because I think they're all plastic um like lycra or whatever but um I go ahead and hang those up anyway because I hang my bras and so they're already on hangers so I just I already have them hung so once everything's dry I just take them into my room um but so basically I've done just one load today and so all of my pants for the week um the bras that I wore so this will all be clean for next week and then the other thing I had in that darks load was my socks 
and my underwear like I showed you before and I have a, like I do have a couple of other items besides just my normal clothes so those are like some comfortable pants that I'll get into at night or I'll have some shorts that I'll um, wear to bed or whatever and this uh, I actually have a bidet and so out of that laundry basket in the bathroom that I have I also throw um, towels that I use to dry off after using the bidet so I've just got these washcloths so it makes it really easy to sort because I've got all the same underwear all the same socks and then I can just fold those and so I will show you um, how I fold these and then how I kind of put them away and keep them in a place where it's really easy to use okay so I've got this all sorted out so if it wasn't clear in the last video so I end up throwing these in the dryer I hang up pretty much everything else because it's all gonna go in my closet um, so basically with the underwear, I don't like roll them up or fold them up or anything. I just like lay them all flat, you know, make sure they're not inside out on top of each other. The socks, I used to actually put them in pairs and, you know, have them like rolled up in pairs to wear, but I've stopped doing that over the last month and I love this so much better. Um, and then this, I'll show you where I put these in the bathroom here in a second. Okay, again, this place is old. Haven't gotten to the bathroom yet uh, remodeling, but um, this is basically my routine for my underwear. So I notice mainly the only time I put on my underwear is when I'm in the bathroom, like after I get out of the shower or if I'm changing in the bathroom. So I've just decided to store all of my underwear in the bathroom. And so this is how I had my underwear laid out. I've got it laid out in here. Um, and then so I just have my clean underwear and I keep it on the bottom and then I just stack this on top so I'm kind of cycling through and using all the underwear and then I just put it back in here and so whenever I need to get a new pair of underwear I just grab one off the top and that's what I do and then with those washcloths um, I have the bidet and then I have a stack of washcloths on the toilet to dry off with um, if you've had a bidet for a while, you know that it cleans really well and you don't really need anything else. And I ran out of toilet paper actually like a couple of weeks ago and I've just been using this and everything's been fine. And then I've got my little, I don't know, my grandparents had this weird little nook back here that with the paper, with the toilet paper holder, like way too far away for anyone to reach. Um, so I've just got this small little, um, laundry basket and so I'll throw my clothes in there I'll throw these rags in there and then it just all gets washed every week and then for my socks um I have this desk that has this don't look at that that's really messy but it has this like top tier on it and it's kind of like at chest height to me so basically what I've been doing every night and as part of like getting ready for bed is I will lay out my clothes for the next day and it's been weird, maybe this is a little bit OCD, but I've been laying them out in the order that I put them on. So I've been kind of like noticing like what order do I put things on and then I've been stacking them in that order. Uh, and so first I was just getting them out of my closet over here, but now I've just, I'll take them out of my closet at night and just have them ready for me right here. So after I use the bathroom in the morning, I come in here ready to put on my clothes. So I've got my leggings for tomorrow. I've got my, um, sports bra and then I've got my white t-shirt and so I'll put them on in that order and then I've got my socks right here I've just, just got this basket with socks in it and so these are the ones that I didn't wear last week so I'll just kind of slide them up to the front and then these are the clean ones and so I just grab them I don't fold them I just grab two and then I usually leave my sneakers right here I've got a mess because I just tried on all those shoes but I'll just have my sneakers like right here in the floor and put them on and I'm good to go okay so this is my closet with everything in it um, the only thing I'm missing is a few white shirts because I haven't washed whites yet but basically all I have in the whites is shirts and towels and then I mix it with some of my roommate stuff to make a load but I normally I don't have that many whites so I normally only do it once every couple of weeks I don't necessarily wash whites every week and I've just got some extra t-shirts because I've inherited a lot from my roommate so um, I don't necessarily have to wash those every week but anyway so because I'm OCD I just you know mentioned that I've decided to stack my clothes you know whenever I get them get them ready to go in the morning I stack them in a certain way 
Um, I've also put my clothes in my closet in that way because I have the t-shirt on the bottom. I've got the t-shirt first. So at night, I'll just come, I'll grab a t-shirt. I'll grab a bra. I've got all my bras right here. I'll stack that on top of that. And then I've got my leggings right here. And so I'll grab one of those. And then in the morning, um, you know, depending on the weather or whatever, I've got um, some different tops to put on. Like I said, they're mostly all so here's like a white one gray one this is a longer one black <laughs> so basically just whatever i feel like i want to wear and i'm pretty comfortable in all of these so i know that if i grab one i'm going to be comfortable in it and then i've just got a few other random pieces here that i may wear i've got like a zip up hoodie um these are just kind of some joggers just you know like I like wearing the same thing every day. I like the simplicity of it, but on occasion you do get to feeling like you may want to wear something else. And so I've got just a few other pieces in here. Probably the craziest piece I have are these shorts from Feet. And um, yeah, I just wear them every once in a while, typically like after work, just around the house. And then I've also got kind of this tie-dye shirt, but pretty much everything else is black, white, or gray. And then I've got a little work section. I rarely have to dress up for work, but um, like I've got some dress pants and then I've got kind of some, a polo shirt and a button down that they've given me with my work logo on it. I've got a couple of just like black dresses. I've got a blazer and then I've got that little jacket I was wearing earlier. So um, yeah, just makes it real simple. If I have to get dressed up for work, if I need to wear a dress, I'll wear one of these. If I need to have my you know, logo, I'll wear one of those with some black pants and it's pretty simple. Other than that, I've got a few other pieces down here, just some random shorts and then I've got some joggers. I'm still not like 100% set on my wardrobe, but I mean, for the most part, it's just, I work out of here every day and then in the winter I'll grab some sweaters or jackets and then normally at night when I just want to get comfortable I've got these kind of loose bras that I'll put on and then uh, these are the tank tops I was mentioning I got these oh don't mind all the cat hair on there but um I got these off of Wish and ugh, they're like not made very well, but they're just loose and comfortable. And I guess I need to pet roll that one. Um, but yeah, I've got a bunch of those black ones that I'll normally wear at night. And then I've got a few white ones too. And then these are just kind of some miscellaneous bras that I may wear from here and every now and then, but there you go.